is, and if we had t-shirts, they'd be worth a lot of money. <laughs> I've been there. Well, delighted all of you are here. This phenomenon called GPD started as a simple little acronym we were using as shorthand about eight years ago when we had a little tiny office and a little tiny cottage behind our house in Ojai, California, me and Catherine and a couple of staff had no idea that this would turn out to be what it is. Uh, Jim Ryder, my director of brand and communications, to paraphrase him, he says, it's the little brand that could. Uh, now GTD, my first book, Getting Things Done, is in over 28 languages and you know, pushing 2 million copies out there. Uh, over 150 software applications have been built purporting to support, enhance, uh, the GTD process. Uh, the, the range of both organizations and applications of this is pretty well represented by this group. If you've had a chance to meet some of the folks here, the only common denominator is that you're at the GTD summit. In terms of the type of people who are here. This thing seems to have hit a nerve in a strange way. Uh, it's it's become a global phenomenon, but it's still a discrete, uh, and I'll call it a fairly sophisticated group that have come together with this as a common denominator. Uh, the, the champions of GTD as some sort of a life and professional style model range from uh, a new friend of mine, Evan Taubenfeld, who's, who's Avril Levine's guitarist, uh, who's now just launched his new record solo with Warner, and he will tell you, GTD Connect members in here, that'll be your next interview with Evan. He is truly the poster child at age 25. Uh, for the last two years, his output in terms of music uh, have gone through the roof since he caught GTD. He just called me, he said, I, by the way, I have to thank you. But he captures his musical ideas now on his Blackberry, <coughs> captures them into iTunes at the end of the week. His weekly review is the downloading and processing every thought about music he's had all week. Fascinating. All the way to an 80 year old lady that's been writing me several times over the last two or three years in New Jersey. And she says, you know, the GTD sayings are a lot better than the homilies and the hang in there little kitty signs <laughs> that she gets from AARP. So she puts my stuff on the refrigerator door. To several of the Simpsons writers who are big champions of my stuff. To global corporations right now that are evaluating how to make the GPD language concepts and basic principles part of the onboarding education for all of their global new hires. So it's ranged all over. We have two days to talk about this, to press about this, to share about some of the, the stories about all this, and certainly lots of people uh, to be involved here as well. Uh, the, probably the most inspiring thing is all of you have shown up here. And if you were at the reception last night, that was fascinating just to get the buzz. And there seems to be where two or more are gathered, and the whole is certainly going to be greater than the sum of the parts. That's my intention here and hope that will come out of this. Uh, I truly have more questions about wither GTD than I have answers and pronouncements here. So I'm here to be fellow conversationist, fellow participant in exploring what this is, what it means, and where it may go, in what way, shape, or form. And hopefully this will be uh, valuable for you at, by the end of that, uh, but you, the takeaways will be as many as there are people sitting in this room. I was <clears throat> uh, thrilled by the response I got. We said, well, who should we get to, to be sort of on panels and to contribute in, in this? So we sent out an initial blast of, oh, maybe to 45, 50 people in my network who know about me, know about this work, and I knew about them, who might bring an interesting spin to this. And we said, well, okay, you know, maybe we'll get five or 10 of them that can come and are willing to, and then we got another list of people we'll ask. Well, about 85% of those people said yes, and they're here. By the way, all every single panelist and moderator uh, is here on their own dime and time. Uh, so <laughs> I'm thrilled by that. Again, each one of these people I have a, a, a unique kind of relationship with, as well as the many of you in the room already. So as I, I'm almost beside myself just to, just, just to have 
a chance to chat with all of you guys, and especially all at one time, and the triangulation I think is going to be very cool. I thought initially, and I'm just going to take a couple of minutes here to share a few high-level thoughts as a way to at least my contribution to trigger this event. I was thinking over the last two or three days, what, how, how would I even address, what would be the best thing for me to say in terms of my perspective? Because all of the moderators and all of the panelists, we're all going to have about five to six minutes apiece. Um, we're all going to contribute who we are, our spin on the world, the world through the eyes of ourselves relative to some of these topics in and around the personal and interactive productivity space. And then it's going to be a conversation, both amongst the panelists and with all of us. I assume you're all panelists. We just can't get you all on stage and feel a little awkward. So with that in mind, I say, well, what about this? And then I got an interesting aha, one of my little aha moments. And the aha moment is how ironic the publications that I have produced is in terms of their timing in the world. Getting Things Done was published at the apex of the dot bomb. And just before 9-11. As a matter of fact, I was on a book tour uh, in New York City going to Bloomberg TV to be interviewed about stress-free productivity when I was checking out the Regent Hotel and they hit the first building. So I was there. So I'm supposed to be talking about stress-free productivity uh, in that time in the world. That shutter went through a lot of people for many months still going on. Making it all work. I just published at the apex of the subprime mortgage crunch <laughs> just before the collapse of what we know as the world financial system. So for the right amount of money, I will guarantee that I will never write another 